So, um, I remember at one point saying about City of Bones, the love triangle actually went somewhere interesting to me. So we're gonna get a little bit more of that. <laughs> I have read City of Ashes uh, from the Mortal Instruments saga, and there is... In, you've read this before, haven't you? I have. It's been a while, though. Yeah. So, overall storyline, Evil Valentine is back, and now he's got the Mortal Sword. And the Mortal Sword can summon a whole bunch of demons to do whatever he darn well pleases. But first, he's got to get a whole bunch of blood from all these downworlders. So he's, like, you know... Okay. That seems to be the plot of the book. It's not. The real story that she focused on very heavily in this is the fact that even though Jace and Katie... Even though Jace and Clary know that they are brother and sister, they are spending the entire time with a will-they-won't-they -they relationship. It's very Star Wars. Man, once Luke and Leia realize that they are brother and sister, they're like, Oh, well now this makes sense. Yeah, I'm not attracted to you anymore. No, they're still attracted to each other this entire book. Uh, I forgot about that. And she's now got a boyfriend in Simon, who is getting really tired of this too. And rightfully so. And rightfully so. She needs to pick a lane. She, yes. And hopefully not her brother. Because <laughs> we can tell you no. <laughs> um, in my written review, I actually kind of did say this. There's so many characters in this book that is that are attracted to Jace. Yeah. And there is no reason why this guy is a jerk. It's charisma. It's all about charisma. Charisma nothing. He's just got a pretty face. <laughs> He's got a pretty face. Now, on the other hand, you have a whole bunch of other really great characters that are developing in this story. They're developing really well. Simon develops a lot in this book. Like, there, there was something that we saw happen in the first book that comes to fruition in this book right. very well, and he grows from that, and other characters grow around him from that. There's also the new character, a werewolf named Maya. And the relationship between Magnus and Jace's quote-unquote quote, brother, that is developing. You and know, that's... there's a whole other, like, mini-novella series just about their relationship. Not their relationship, but, like, them. Yeah. Magnus and him, I can't remember his name either, I, but yeah. Personally, I would... The thing is, though, like, the other guy's personality he's kind of still wishy-washy he needs to just kind of come out and live his truth for a little while and then he'll be worthy of magnus it's what a journey i would yeah. love to see though is simon magnus and maya on a road trip <laughs> i call it city of self-respect <laughs> totally get away from all of these people that just Mm, not good but for that's people. the big thing about Magnus is Magnus is legitimately there to help guide uh what is his name I don't remember his name I'm sorry but yeah. it's like his basically is there to help guide him you know his little baby gay into yeah. you know being who he is and realizing how that is I don't I, I totally understand I think if they were both very like sure of what they were it would make a very uninteresting plot line but I think this in I really love those two characters they're like probably two of my favorite in this whole thing in the books I don't remember if I like them in the movie or not honestly no. but I really did like them in the book and I thought I thought the way it was written was very well done, and that's why I think a lot of characters really love them. And that's one thing, like, once he once he actually develops, I think he will be worthy of Magnus. Magnus mm -hmm. is a solid character, yeah, and he's he is. being very patient and very considerate, because in this, Clary does kind of discover that she has the magical power to create runes mm -hmm. out of nowhere, including one for courage. And hey, let's test this out on you. I'm going to go come out to my parents. And Magnus stops him. Even though it's the one thing that Magnus really wants him to do, he stops him. And I think that that says so much about this downworlder. So much. So much. Um, Isabel was in this book, too. I forget who that is. Exactly my point. <laughs>
Yeah. We spent way too much time with Jace. I did, however, I think I give this about three stars. Okay. Um, you like the first one better. I did like the first one better, mm -hmm. and I think that when we take what we've got from this book and keep pushing it, it could be something good. It so what is really the good. next one you're reading in the series? City of... So, uh, City of Glass will be next, and I guess I needed to add that to my TBR list. It's okay. You add things later. <laughs> yeah. uh, but thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.